Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the anatomy of the phrenic nerve. The phrenic nerve is a mixed nerve. It carries both motor and sensory fibers. The phrenic nerve provides motor innervation to the muscles of the diaphragm. It carries sensory innervation from the diaphragmatic pleura, mediastinal pleura, peritoneum of the under surface of the diaphragm, fibrous pericardium, parietal layer of serous pericardium, and also from the gallbladder. Origin, phrenic nerve arises from the anterior rami or ventral rami of C3, C4, C5, with maximum contribution from C4. Contribution from C5 may be derived from an accessory phrenic nerve, frequently from a branch of the nerve to the subclavius. Okay, so here is the phrenic nerve. Phrenic nerve, its fruit value is C3, C4, C5. So, this is the phrenic nerve, contributed by C3, contributed by C4 and also contributed by C5. So this is the phrenic nerve. Phrenic nerve passes over the scalene anterior muscle. This is the scalene anterior muscle. It is under cover the internal jugular vein as well as the sternocleidomastoid muscle. So it passes anteriorly over the skeleton anterior covered by the pre-vertebral fascia. Okay, here this is the phrenic nerve, root value C3, C4, C5, right phrenic nerve, left phrenic nerve again root value C3, C4, C5 with maximum contribution from C4. So, on at the root of the neck, it passes over the subclavian artery. This is the subclavian artery, but it is behind the subclavian vein and the behind the subclavian vein, and also on the left side, it is passing over the left subclavian artery and behind the subclavian vein. Then it reaches the cervical pleura. This is cervical pleura and enters the thorax and it passes between the mediastinal pleura and the mediastinal pleura and the fibrous layer of the and the fibrous pericardium this is accompanied by the pericardiacophrenic artery pericardiacophrenic vein then it reaches the dome of the diaphragm and it pierces the diaphragm and it distribute over the diaphragmatic muscle and on the right side it also some most a lot of fiber goes through the vena cava opening of the diaphragm and also contribute partly in the innervation of the gallbladder okay here again our phrenic nerve is here accompanied by the pericardiacophrenic vessel pericardiophrenic vein it is in between the mediastinal pleura and the fibrous pericardium going to the dome of the diaphragm. So both the dome of the diaphragm and the muscles of the diaphragm are getting innervation from the phrenic nerve. We have just discussed the course from the lateral border of the skeleton anterior at the level of the where it is formed, formed at the level of the middle of the sternocleidomastoid and at the upper border of the thyroid cartilage. Phrenic nerve runs downwards on the anterior surface of the scalene anterior muscle. Both left and right phrenic nerve crosses the subclavian artery and passes behind the subclavian vein. In the thorax, the phrenic nerve descends between the mediastinal pleura and the fibrous pericardium. And here, it is accompanied by the pericardiacophrenic vessels and reaches the dome of the diaphragm 
some of the fibers of the right phrenic nerve passes through the vena cava opening of the diaphragm and innervates the gallbladder. So the phrenic nerve supplies the muscles of the diaphragm both sides. On the left side, it pierces and distributes among the muscles of the diaphragm, distributes on the under surface of the diaphragm. On the right side, that also pierces, also distribute in between the muscle fibers and also the under surface of the diaphragm. And a significant part of the nerve fiber passes through the vena cava opening of the diaphragm and innervates the gallbladder. Some clinical notes. The phrenic nerve can be blocked by injecting local anesthesia over the about the phrenic nerve at the middle third of the scalene anterior muscle. Damage to the phrenic nerve due to any region due to trauma or any type of gunshot injury to the neck, okay, is manifested by hemidiaphragm. The side of the diaphragm will be paralyzed, okay, and paradoxical respiratory movement during, during inspiration the paralyzed side will go up. During expiration, the paralyzed side of the diaphragm will go down. That is the paradoxical respiratory movement. Okay. If there is hemidiaphragm, person can survive. But if the if it is if the if it is bilateral section of the of the phrenic nerve, person will die within a few minutes. Okay. Inflammation of the gallbladder liver, diaphragm, medicinal pleura, pericardium may irritate the phrenic nerve and the patient may feel along the C3, C4 and C5 dermatome. They will feel pain here on the shoulder, okay, because C3, C4, C5 dermatome over the upper arm and the, and the shoulder area. This happened because the phrenic nerve fiber will mingle with the somatic nerve fiber of C3, C4, C5 dermatum and the brain, our brain will interpret that the pathology is in the shoulder. But there is no pathology, no damage on the shoulder. Damage or pathology is in the gallbladder, maybe under surface of the diaphragm, some collection, maybe hepatitis, maybe the fibrous pericardium inflammation, medicinal pleura inflammation. So brain will interpret pain is coming from the that dermatome area. That is called referred pain. Okay. So we got the phrenic nerve and that's all about the phrenic nerve. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. Please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Have a nice, wonderful and blessed day. Bye now.